What's up? What's going on, YouTube? I'm Sina, and today we are going to be playing the full game of Mel Time. Finally, the full game is released. It's here, and I'm ready to play. I did play the demo. If you want to go ahead and check that out, I will link it in the description below. And I loved it so much that I I couldn't wait for the the game to come out. So we're gonna play it on my channel today, the full game, ladies and gentlemen. And I also wanted to thank you guys for helping me get to 1,000 subscribers! Woo! You guys really made a girl's wish come true. Like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. I know that might not be a lot to other people, but it means the whole world to me. And hello to my new subscribers. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my content and the fact that a lot of you like my content makes me so happy so i will continue to grow with you guys and i hope we can have a healthy community and just have fun while playing games but uh yes let's go ahead and get into this game I'm so excited i am going to be playing the full thing in this one video uh but i guess we could call it a 1000 subscriber special kind of thing but without further ado let's have some fun and let's play all right <laughs> i'm just going to make my character that i made before all right we're back and our name is obviously gonna be cena she's ready this is how i created my character in the demo so we're gonna stick to it because i just love her so much she's so cute all right let's go ahead and start eee, i'm so excited are we there yet no how about now no what about stop <laughs> Will you shut up if I tell you where we're going? Promise. All right. Now don't get too excited. But today is your first solo delivery. <laughs> what? Yeah! My ears. Oh, sorry. Right. So. Oh my gosh. We're gonna deliver some mail. Okay. So you've got it, right? Yeah. Wait. No. One more time. Listen closely this time then. You. You. Cena. Me. Cena need to deliver that letter in your backpack to someone named Greg. Deliver letter to Greg. That's is your first day on the job. You probably know a bit about what it's like to be a mouse scout. Yes, sir, Janet. <gasps> Cena. I mean, ma'am, I'm top of my class at Mail Academy. Or well, I'm in the top ten ish. But I'm ready to learn. Well, it's one thing to learn from the books, and another thing to learn in real life. Mail Scout Official Handbook, page twelve. Good one, Janet. Try me on another one, Scout. What did we? say about the interrupting thing not to do it yes please try before you're ready to deliver your letter to greg we should do a practice run see that turtle over there i want you to give them this note for me you might just get something special for it in case you forgot how your legs work you can use w to walk around aye aye captain jan be right back <gasps> we are back hey where is my tan I could have swore I had a better tan in the demo, but what the frick ever. Oh my gosh, we're starting from here. All right, let's go deliver this note from uh, Janet to this turtle. Hi, I remember you from the demo. Hi, are you here for an autograph? Oh, do I have to get mail signed before I can deliver it? Don't remember that from the handbook. Oh no, I meant to, do you want my autograph because I'm famous? Oh, what for? I'm a track star in training for my next race. Speedy Shelby, they call me. Your name is Shelby? Then this letter is for you. Oh, fan mail? Of sorts? Let's see it then. This is a fake letter. Just pretend that you're reading it. It's her first delivery. Oh, I see. Is that your supervisor over there? That's Janet. She's my boss. Or something like that. I'm not really sure. In that case, I accept this letter. It was delivered to me following... What? It was delivered to me following Mail Scout protocol. I am ecstatic with the service I have received. Five stars. Thank you, Shelby. Thank you so freaking much. You're so cute. No, wait. Four and a half stars. Hey, 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 Shelby. Why, why'd you turn it down? Why, what? Why the four and a half? You didn't want my autograph. By the by, do you happen to know where Greg is? Not currently. My brain is on sport mode. Information irrelevant to exercise can't be accessed right now. <laughs> Shelby, please. You are a turtle or a tortoise. Please stop with the speeding stuff. Maybe Egbert knows. He's clever. Squirrel man. Can't miss him. Asking around is the best way to find people around here. Thanks for the tip. Bye, Shelby. Peace out, little scout. Hey, Shelby, you're so freaking cute. Yeah, look at my bee and look at me. Hee <laughs> hee.
<gasps> Look at this world, everyone. Look at it. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to mail time. Let's go. I could have swore I had a better tan in my demo version, but whatever. Whatever. Look at the little teapot. This is so cute. Wow, they definitely spunked it up in the oh whose house is that they definitely made some improvements from the demo this is freaking beautiful where's egbert at egbert egbert where you at sir e egbert oh god this world is a little too big <laughs> egbert 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 there's a kitty landlord hello kitty landlord what's good now scout come here i need you to send a letter for me oh what you sending a cease and desist to a child that crossed me <laughs> that seems a bit overkill i'll have you know this child robbed me in broad daylight i was walking with my coin collection the bag was open i was letting the coins breathe fresh air then i was interrupted by the vermin child i think the name was cedar she saw the glinting of light and she was fascinated by my coin but i only had so long to walk before i had to get back to my business the landlord business you see truly time consuming anyway i must say seeing a young fellow coin enthusiast it was nice it's not a popular hobby of around here i generously offered that cedar admire my coins for one hour only and bring them back immediately well scout it's been 61 minutes and my paws are empty now i must resort to stronger measures or else this child will walk all over me nobody messes with kiki don't you think this is disproportionate Cedar is only a minute late. If you were paid to ask questions, wouldn't you be called a question scout? Oh, Kiki, eat her up. Eat her up. <laughs> Even though it's me. Well, I mean, oh, but you aren't a question scout. You are a male scout, and I have a mail for Cedar. So why don't you run along and deliver it? Fine. Glad we agree. Yo, you little chubby cat, you got a lot of nerve talking to me. Cena, I'll have you know. I'm the best mouse skull you ever seen in your life. So Kiki got beef with Cedar because Cedar has uh, not returned their coin to them. But I have yet to see Egbert. Oh, what the heck? Is this Cedar right here? Kiki, Kiki, Cedar's right here. <laughs> Snitch on you, Cedar. You better give the coins back to Kiki. Cedar? Yes, oh, I mean, depends. Who are you? I'm Cena, the mouse scout. In training. What was that last part? Nothing, nothing. Unfortunately, I have not so nice letter for you from Kiki. Oh, crumbs. Kiki's gonna make a lucky rabbit for charm out of me. I just know it. Why? If you give him his coin collection back, I'm sure this all blow over. That's just the thing. I lost all the coins. I am beginning to see the problem. How did you lose these coins, Cedar? Kiki bottle, whoop your but I met Kiki while he was walking by here. As soon as I got my paws in the collection, I hopped off searching for a great spot to admire it. But I didn't realize the bag was still open. Now all the coins are lost and I have no clue where they are. Please, can you help me? I'm afraid of what Kiki will do if I show without them. Fret not, little bun. <laughs> I'll get you those coins back. Oh, thank you so much. There were four coins in the collection. Four coins? Kiki, are you serious? Cheap Charlie. Cheap, cheap, cheap Charlie. We pressed over here hear about four freaking coins all right i'll find you these coins please come back when you find them all oh boy i have a lot of missions dear scout congrats you've earned the next day delivery patch Woo! where's your parents cedar you over here messing with the landlord how i'm gonna find four coins in this big old world See, how are we gonna do this i don't know oh hey bark Egbert! Can't believe these kids these days. Oh, didn't see you there. They shouldn't sneak up on an old man like that. I'm right in front of you. <laughs> Maybe you need glasses. <laughs> Egbert! <laughs> Never mind. Well, let's have a look then. Who's this? Maybe I really do need new glasses. Beg your pardon? Who are you? Oh, no worries, sir. I'm new around this stretch of the wood. I'm Mail Scout here on official Mail Scout business. Cena. Nice to meet you, Egbert. Likewise. Well, don't let me distract you from your work. Okay, see ya. Unless. Unless what? Unless you'll be willing to help an old man out. 
God dang it, I have so many work to do. Like a little side quest. See it as a way to gain experience. Anywho, what's the sitch? Sitch? Situation. You youngsters in your slangs. Well, my upstairs neighbor is getting on my nerve. Seems to be in the nature of upstairs neighbors. They blast their rock music at the most tiresome hours. Ah, uh, that could be annoying. I had annoying neighbors once. Like 8 p.m. and the noise is driving me crazy. I go up there and speak some sense into them myself, but my knees just aren't what they used to be. So, if you would be so kind, could you hand them this formal clutter of complaint? I am on it, Eggberg. I am huge on it. Complete letters only when necessary, and it's ruining my sleep. <laughs> sure thing, Gramps. Uh, thank you for the trouble. Where's your upstairs neighbor at? I got a few words for them. I'm gonna make my beasting them. Ooh, I'm gonna make beasting them in their butt cheeks. Oh, hello. You're so cute. Hello. What are you doing out here? Just delivering some mail. Sounds fun. What are you doing? I'm watching over my turnip. I'm hoping to win this year's harvest festival in the smallest turnip category. Wow, these are tiny. Thanks. Icebreaker patch with the what? What? Okay, woohoo! Yeah! What what turnip? Oh, these turnips? You call these tiny? What I'm sorry. I'm standing on your turnip. I'm sorry. Hey, I still haven't came across any coins or cedar. Oh, oh there's a coin. I spoke too soon. <laughs> yeah. Give me that. Well, we could go all the way up there. I am going to explore. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. <gasps> Who lives over here? What? What? I want to live in here. This is my house now. Ooh, a bottle cap. Yes. We need. Look at B. There's other flies. Have you, who's that? I'm coming through. La la la. Oh, you're that bat. Oh, look. A male scout. And such an energetic specimen in that. Tell me, Scout, what's Male Scout Handbook Rule of 72? That's easy. If the sender no longer wishes the sent mail to be delivered, the postage item must be rapidly destroyed by means of fire. If no fire is possible in the area, stopping on the po postage item is also acceptable. Did I get it right? Heck if I know. You seem convincing to me. Can I ask what all your baskets are for? I'm a mushroom collector. Oh, well, experience a mushroom collector. I don't want to have them. I just want to see them. Sketch them. Have a little taste. And then move on. Do you only eat the edible ones? All mushrooms are edible. It's a mindset thing. I don't think that's how it works. But you managed to live this long, I guess. I don't suppose you have a fun little side quest for me here. No side quest. No, sorry. Oh, shucks. Sina, what do you mean? We have so many other things to do. Instead, I have a mushion. That's a mushroom mission. Oh, my God. I've never done a mushion before. Mushion. Mush I'm probably saying that wrong. What do I have to do? Look at me, Sina. What am I missing? Arms? <laughs> <laughs> the answer I was looking for was samples from all the unique mushrooms in the area. Oh my god, no! Anyways, this area, the Grumblewood Grove, is great for mushroom growth. And I want to experience them all. What? I'm not as good at sampling them as I am at consuming them. There's where you come in. With your unique skills at finding and delivering mail, you are perfect for the job. Does that make me my colleges too? Once you collect enough samples, I'll tell you about the first three and we'll go from there. The amethyst deceiver is a purple mushroom that likes swampy soil. It's probably around here somewhere nearby. Then we have the purple pinwheel. It's a purple mushroom with a peculiar shape. You'll know what I mean when you see it. It's almost like a flower or a jellyfish. Lastly, you can look for the indigo milk cap, which is probably more blue than indigo. It's like nutrient-rich soil, so most likely it'll be near vegetables and other growing things. Oh god, I'm not gonna remember all of this. There you go, Scout. Now be on your way. Oh god, I don't think I can complete all of that, but okay. Yes, I have all the time in the world. I have so... I still have coins to collect for cedar. Gosh, they must be up there or something. I don't... I can't talk to any more people. I put too much on my plate. I got a lot of work to do. Oh, is this one of those mushrooms you were talking about? Ooh. Ooh, what's that? A potion? Mushrooms? Oh, amethyst. Oh, for tofu. Okay, got it. Got it, got it. Looks like this is not going to be an easy trip, Janet. I got a lot of things to do. Oh, it's you. What are, you're not drawing, I see. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, Lord, am I happy to see someone? I am seeing you, right? Yes, Swamp. Yes. Or am I hallucinating? You're not. Irene did warn me about sniffing the gunpowder, but it just smells so good. Gunpowder? Yeah, you know. 
Boom! You scare me. Don't worry, I'm very experienced with things that go boom. Name Swamp. Boomstick Swamp. Demolition expert of most elite group of super spy- Oh, I mean of the most elite group of super friends here in Grumblewood. Ah! Swamp is a spy. You haven't happened to run into Irene, right? Long weaselly. She is very sneaky after all. Uh, she should be in the village eavesdropping. Ahem. <clears throat> Saying hi to a certain cat. Kiki! But anyways, any chance you could give Irene this secret intel? She told me not to leave my station. A letter to deliver? Unheard of. What? I mean, will do. Oh, one more thing. Our spy group, I, I mean friend group, has a secret code we say to each other. So we know who we are talking to. Surely there's other ways of recognizing who you're talking to. When you talk to someone in our possess posse, you say remember we've never met before. Okay, got it. Swamp, you're in a gang? Is Kiki the like the boss or something? What is going on in this village? Ooh, can I go in here? <gasps> um What the heck? There's bones! Bones, everyone! Bones! What? Ah! Who's who died in here? Oh, good lord. Oh, oh no, this is not a happy side of town. Look at the little boat. Wait, can I swim? Shut up. Shut up. I'm in the freaking water. Yes. I don't know why. I just love going in water in games. I just love that extra little detail. You know what I mean? Look at this little paper boat. This looks like this would be the local pub, right? Would it not? I feel like this is the pub with the little doors opening like that. Oh my goodness, where am I? Ooh, another mushroom species. Congrats, you've earned the adventurer patch. Woohoo! We'll just ignore that we saw tons of bones over there, okay? We don't speak about that to Janet B, okay? This house is nice. Look at the little waterfall. <gasps> they put so much detail in here. Are you Cedar's parent? Hiya, Daisy's my name. Running is my game. What's up? If you ever need any vegetables from the farm, just let me know. Oh! Will do. I don't have any space in my backpack right now, but maybe another time. You're always welcome. Oh, I have a lot of mail to, like, deliver. Who are you? Hello, dear. I don't believe I've seen you around here before. Care to join us for a cup of tea? Sure. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm on the job. Thanks for the offer, though. The name's Annie. Nice to meet you. My name is Sina. I'm a mail scout. Today is my first date. Wonderful. I need to ask you a big favor, hon. I need you to deliver a letter for me to Haley. I was just over there. It's a secret letter. You can't let Haley know. I sent it. Andy! A suspense! Please tell me what's in it. It's just some things I think she needs to hear. Ooh, what kind of things? Like good things, bad things, funny things, scary things. Cena, less imagination, more mail delivery. <gasps> Look at her face. She is so annoyed at me. Annie, you can't just tell me this without spilling the beans. I'm nosy. I'm a mail scout. I should know these things. I'm about to open your mail, girl. <gasps> Are you playing tic-tac-toe with these ladybugs? Annie, B, don't look. I hope those are cookies, Annie. I hope those are cookies made to look like bees and ladybugs. What's that? What's that? What's that? Ooh, blue crystal. Look at the waterfall. B, let's go in it. I hope you'll be okay. Yeah. Oh, oh god, I can't. Oh god, oh god, where am I? Oh god, B, I was so scared for a second. Let's be serious. We have one, two, three, four, five, six mail to deliver. You're making TNT over here, and whose bones is this swamp? Gotta keep an eye out for these coins. These coins. These coins. Gosh darn it, my recording stopped when I was talking to Clear Master over here. But basically, I handed him the letter from Eggberg about the complaint. And then he was like, basically, whatever. Music is my soul. I can't help that my music is out of control or something like that. So he wants me to go back to Egbert and be like, whatever, dude. Oh, God. Egbert. Egbert. He doesn't care that he's loud, Egbert. Got a response from Clarence for you. Whatever. Well, I'm never. I can't believe that scoundrel. If they won't listen, I will have to escalate the situation. I really hope I wouldn't have to do this. For they're in my own sake. I must file a formal complaint to our landlord. Who is that? Kiki? I had hoped it wouldn't come to this point, but it must be done. Well, anyway, can you take this to Kiki? You already had it filled out? Well, yeah. They weren't going to listen anyway. It has saved me a trip up that tree, but it wasn't a great learning experience. And what will I learn from talking to your landlord. I don't know how to say that word. Brown crusty. Surely there's one of those patches for that. Um, don't fuss about it. With all this experience, you're sure to earn some kind of patch. I better. Oh gosh, I can't go back to Kiki yet. I cannot. I haven't found all their coins yet. Oh, I think I have something for you. Oh, fiddlesticks. Penny for your thoughts? Oh, it's just 
it, it's just a case of just... Ah, uh, never mind. I can't even get the words out. That's okay. Words are hard. Just skip the ones you don't want to say. What's on your mind? Eh, don't worry. That's a personal matter. What have you got for me, little scout? Who gave you this? No one. But also, what's in it? I'm really curious. It's a letter saying I need to drum up the confidence to do what make me happy. Yeah, Haley. Do what makes you happy, Haley. It's not a bad idea. I just think I'm a bit in over my head. I would like to formally request that you spill the beans immediately. All right, but only because you asked so nicely. <laughs> no, we didn't. I, uh, I have a crush. What? On Dana. What? The snail? Did the other squirrel from the demo have a crush on Dana too? Ooh, you have some competition. Ooh. I kind of want to ask her out. Love quest. How do you want to do it? What's the plan? What do we need? Well, that's the problem. I want to give her something special to show I care in a special way. But I'm not sure what to do yet. Let me have a think. Come back in a bit. Okay, okay. Yep, I can wait. No problem. Oh, this love triangle brewing, Egbert. There's a love triangle brewing because in the demo, we met a squirrel, not Egbert, but we met a squirrel that had a crush on Donna as that squirrel, that squirrel, or they're a weasel. I think they're a weasel, not a squirrel. My bad. They have a crush on Donna as well. Hold on. I'm about to, <laughs> I'm about to stir the pot. Hey, do you still have a crush on Donna? Oh, you're not a squirrel. You're like a weasel or a ferret. Hi. What do you want? Irene? Depend on who's asked. Remember we've never met before. Huh? I don't remember a new recruit. Well, explain yourself. You've got mail. Or should I say secret intel? You shouldn't say that. Oh, sorry. Well, in that case, I have a completely normal letter from Swamp. What's the rascal doing roping civilians into our operation? Let's see it. Here you go. One top tier example of a normal letter. <laughs> okay. Difficult. I have to think about it. What do you say anyways? Since it's totally not a secret at all. Clever one. Well, he asked about his part in my, uh... I mean, our plan. Guess he's getting impatient without instructions. But I'm unsure what to tell him. What do you mean? I'll tell you some other time. If you're in the grift now anyway, could you run by Kaz for a status update? Top secret. Aye, aye, boss. He's up in the cave near the blue windmill. Carry us, fella. Hope he doesn't give you any trouble. I hope so, too. Good luck, recruit. Okay. I have yet to find more coins. I only found one. I haven't seen any. But... I did see this super, super cute teapot house over here. I'm coming through. Oh, I'm not going to make it, am I? Oh, I am. Hello, who lives here? It's my house now. Who are you? You look like Cedar. Psst. Well, hello. What's going on? You have to whisper. I'm afraid mom will find out what happened. Your mom? Your mom, Daisy? She's not close by. Even with big ears, she won't be able to hear you. Okay, if you say so. Well, I have a bit of a problem. I love the stars. They make me feel so excited. Did you know that stars are really far away? But with a telescope, you can see them if they're very close. Isn't that cool? But sure, it's like you're right next to the stars. But that doesn't sound like a problem, really. Well, I was looking through the telescope at the stars. There was a meteoroid I was trying to see. Oh, meteoroids are like stars that are flying. Didn't you know that? No, that's so cool. As I was trying to find the meteor boy i was swinging the telescope around a bit turns out i was swinging a bit too much before i knew it the telescope was broken and now the stars are far away again you help me fix it not a problem it looks like the lens is broken it's the bit of the thick glass inside the telescope oh i know what part you mean so the lens from a pair of glasses would work that could work great okay well i did see some around but i don't really remember where it was neither near kiki or donna don't worry snowdrop i'll figure it out thanks Cena. please don't tell my mom. Wouldn't dream of it. I'm about to tell her right now. They broke this. They broke this. Look at it. It's broken. It's shattered in pieces, everyone. Whoa. We could come in the well. What the heck is this? What the heck is that? Whoa, well. Wonder if it echoes. Echo. Echo, 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 echo. echo. You shouldn't be here. What huh? the heck? The heck was that, guys? Is that just a puddle of mud or something? A pile of mud with worms sticking out of it? What the heck was that? It was kind of gross. Glasses! We found glasses! Yay! Oh, Donna! Donna, is that you? Donna, someone has a crush on you! Hello! What are you doing here? I'm delivering mail. Oh, that sounds fun. Oh, my name's Donna. What is your name? Cena. Look at this bicycle with the buttons as wheels. That's so cute. Check it out, Snowdrop. Do you think this lens would fit? That looks perfect. Oh my gosh, the telescope works again. Thank you so, so, so much. I have to go to sleep right now. Huh? Why? It's daytime, which means the stars are sleeping. If I sleep now, I'll be right awake later when the stars are awake too. Oh, one more thing. Here's a drawing I made as a thank you. Wow! Wow, you really outdone yourself, Snowdrop. That, that, that's beautiful. 
Whoa! Ooh, I could go in here. Oh, a ladybug! Ew! Ew! Stomp on it! Stomp! Stomp! Stompity! Stomp! 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 B! 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 Don't look at me while I do this! Um. Ma, ma, ma. Ooh, what's that? What is that? What the heck? Oh, it's a mushroom sample. Can I go in your house? Well, you got a lot of money and you're worried about the four coins from Cedar? Hi! Damn, kid, I'm busy. Unless you got something for me, don't bother me. You've got mail. Correspondence from your loyal tenant, Egbert. Who? Scarily looking fella. Ahem, he requires your aid in settling a pressing interpersonal dispute. It's a formal noise complaint against Clarence. Oh, uh, okay. Go ahead and file it with the rest of the complaint. I see something sparkling up there. Ooh, I'm coming. Is that a coin? <gasps> That's a coin. Yes. Yay. How do you get up there like this? Yee. Oh, there we go. Cool. I got this bottle cap. Sweet beans. Coin. Yes. Uh, more bones. Whose bones are these and who's doing this? Ooh, what's this? <gasps> you could change your hat! Shut. Oh. Oh, I like the one we have on now. Oh, that's so cool. I found some stuff for you. All right, Tove, here's a bunch of samples. Oh, splendid. I will reward you, motivate you with a mushroom. Ah, fact. Mushrooms are from the kingdom of fungi. Is that where you come from? <laughs> I wish. Now it's a way of organizing them. Yeast is also a fungus. When you bake bread, the yeast eats the sugar in the dough and makes gas with it. That's what makes bread airy and bubbly. Isn't that amazing? I guess. <gasps> There's a coin up there. Yes. That's the last coin I need. That is not a coin. That is not a coin. Look at this big old cabbage and carrot. Oh, I didn't even see this area. Hello, little ladybugs. I was not stomping one on one earlier. Hello. Can I ride them? <laughs> now, this is gaming, ladies and gentlemen. This is what gaming is all about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's so cute. You eating? Oh. Well, since I'm here, I do have mail for you. Oh, Sina. Can we have a little chat? Sure. What's up? I've seen you running around town. I know some of my kids take a shine to you. Yeah, your kids are really cool. Good job birthing them. Ah, uh, thanks. Well, I was wondering, my kids never show me their drawings anymore. Well, I just received one from one of your sons, I think. I think they might be embarrassed. Or maybe they think I won't like them, but I miss looking at their drawings. Words can't express how proud I am of them. If you happen to get any of their drawings, please could you give them to me? I have one. Hey, see, this is the cutest thing I've ever heard. As a matter of fact, I have a drawing for you right here. Oh my, it's the stars! It's so beautiful! The stars are all in the right spots, too. Let me guess, did Snowdrop draw this? She sure did. What a great kid she is. Not the most social, but very, very passionate. Thanks so much for bringing me this drawing. I'm going to pin it up right away. Please bring any other drawings you find on your way. Uh, I got nothing for you, Annie. Chief Janet, I'm back. Visibly. And I heard you gave the letter to Shelby. Huh? How did you hear that? Shelby is literally over there, standing right over there. Wasn't easy to miss. Good job, Scout. That means you've earned your first patch. Yippee! So us scouts work on a patch system. Once you've done something worldworthy, you earn a patch for it. With every patch, you get a little bit closer to being a real mail scout, and you get a little bit better at mail delivery. For example, you might have noticed that you can jump by pressing space. Well, by holding space, you can glide as well. <gasps> That's amazing! Don't act surprised. We've been doing that this whole time. I lit I literally never gonna touch the ground ever again. Well, sure, why not dream big? Anyways, when you deliver that letter to Greg, you'll get your official mail scout patch. You'll be a full mail scout for real. Ah, I can't wait. Good luck, Zena. I'll be here if you need me. Thanks, Mom. I mean, Mrs. Mail. I mean, Janet. Bye. Oh, don't forget. You can press H to check your deliveries and patches in your handbook. Let's just go to Cedar. I didn't see any more coins, you fool. Find them yourself. Oh, Cena, Cena, do you have all the coins? Yep, all four. Oh, I did? Oops, I didn't know. Hot diggity doll. You are an amazing, fantastic, sunny, breathtaking. I will never forget this. Here, I've written an apology note to Kiki. Could you take that and the coins back to him? Maybe now I can still make it out of this alive. Turns out you're not only a male scout in training, but also charm prevention service. Seems there's good money in that. It's my first day and I'm already holding a bag of prices coins. Haha! <laughs> oh no! Now I'm nervous again! Please bring the note and the coins to Kiki, okay? I got it covered, Cedar! I got it covered! Alright, back to, back to Kiki I go! Gosh, I didn't even know I collected all four coins. I thought I had one more to go, but you know what? That's fine with me. I have them! My coins! 
I guess you are at least a little capable. And there's a note from Little Cedar, too. Let's see what she has to say for herself. Shoot. This kid clearly respects me. Not sure why. And she obviously loves the coins. Oh darn it. I'm gonna do something I said I would never do. Oh, what? Scout this collection. Although priceless, none of these coins are really important. This one, though, this is my favorite coin. The first coin I ever owned. Selling apple juice as a kid. As a kid, I was writing my own letters to deliver. I'm sure that made you rich like my apple juice stand made me. Oh, well, even though this coin means a lot to me, it shouldn't be gathering dust. It should live on a new collection. Bring this coin to Cedar. Oh, and this letter, too. You know what? Please wouldn't hurt. But I'll do it for Cedar. Yeah, yeah, collectible Corbin coin. Uh, yes, so let's go. All right, I'm gonna drop this to Cedar. You guys have me running back and forth up in here. Give it to me straight, Scout. Will I live to see another day? How about you read this and find out for yourself? Oh, nuts. Holy pie in the sky. Did, did he really? Yep, he did. Cena, I have my first coin. Yippee. What are you gonna name your coin? Are you supposed to name them? I don't know, but it feels right to me. Well then, I'll name this coin Cena. <laughs> Cena! Cena! Don't flatter me like that. Oh, that's so sweet of you. Because you saved me from being turned into a lucky charm. Oh, and another thing. Here, take this drawing I made. <gasps> Whoa, I can't see what it says. Now you'll have something to remember this by as well. Thanks, Cedar. That's so kind of you. All the things are yours. Now I must direct my full attention to Cena. Oh, coin Cena, I mean. I got that. See you later. You're so sweet. Thank you. Now I got some other things to do. I have something for you. Hey, little scout. Did you figure it out? Wow, wow. Calm down. But yes, ish. No. Well, is there anything she mentioned she likes? Oh, Donna likes all sorts of things. That's the problem. I can't think of anything extra special she might like. She was talking about some kind of special spoon. A spoon? Yeah, I think it was called a love spoon. It's supposed to be a spoon that one lover gives to another. I don't really remember what she said about it besides that I was a little bit lost in her eyes. Would a normal spoon be fine? No, no, no. The love spoon is special. I'm sure about that. Can you please help me figure out more about it? Sure, there's no spoon I can't handle. <laughs> Thanks, Cena. I can really use the help. I'm a bit too nervous. Donna's just so cool and calming. What is happening in the background? Why is it... What? <laughs> But sadly, she can't help me out with this one. Maybe start by asking my friend Ham about the love spoon. Who is Ham? If anyone knows anything about love spoons, it'll be him. He can chew his way through a book like no one else. Chewing as in reading? Mostly, yes. Here, I've jotted the situation down. Give this note to Ham. He'll do know what to do. All right, I'll be back, spoon. Oh, I had never even seen Ham. Oh, a letter for Egbert. Scary long shoe. Hmm, whoa. Okay, I'll deliver this to Egbert. Oh, I unlocked the achievement and I didn't even know. There's a lot of back and forth going on around here. You guys are literally walking distance. Egbert, I got a letter for you. The cat's going to get what's coming to him sooner or later. Please don't fight my landlord. How do he respond? Something about how he is a big capitalist egghead. Oh, and he gave me this letter. Oh, your complaint has been noted. We are looking into it until further notice. He didn't read the letter, did he? No, I don't think so. Unbelievable. You know, back in my days, we had manners. Did you? Me? Well, no. I was quite the impressive bad boy, if I do say so myself. Oh, dear heavens, Annie. I just remembered our anniversary is today. You're married to Annie? I got so caught up in all this that I let it slip again. It's hard to think straight with all that noise. Could you please take this note to Annie for me? She's over the farm with day. I know where she is. Please don't let her know about all of this. No problem. Be back in a jiffy. Oh my god, that's on the side of town. I got mail for both of you. Oh, hi, Yasina. Have you got a second drawing for me? Sure do. Oh, look, it's a coin. Isn't this that coin Kiki has? I'm not sure. Did Cedar draw this? Yep, she got that special coin from Kiki to start a collection. Oh, how kind. I'm glad Cedar has someone to share her coin passion with. We should invite Kiki over for tea sometime as a thank you. Thanks so much for bringing it to me. This one is getting pinned up right next to the first one. Please drop by if you get another. Oh, we have mail for Annie. I didn't know you and Egbert were a thing. I have a note from your smitten squirrel. Oh, you came all the way from the village? Bless you, honey bun. Snookums, I was wondering. For no particular reason, of course, which of these gift ideas would you want most? Oh, he's still so dedicated to impressing me after year after year. He's gone and tied himself in knots over something that could be so simple. There must be something on mine. He told me not to tell you. Oh, malarkey. Tell you what? You tell me what's going through his mind and I'll give you one of my tried- I'll give you one of my tried and tested pastry techniques. It's kind of against our cold, but it would help egg 
helper out in the long run. And helping is a male scout code. So, deal? Deal! Apparently, Clarence has been bothering him by being nosy and such. Oh, I could have guessed. Big Bird always gets so irritable when he's got something on his mind. You want to know what always calmed that bad boy right down? I'm listening. That cool, intimidating, tough man loves wood carving. I bet Clarence would know where to find some good wood. They must be able to see where everything from up there. So, what if Clarence were to gift Big Bird a nice piece of wood to carve? He would take things off his mind. Oh, and what a lovely gift to hand crafted labor of love would make. Let's just say that was a hint. I think I've got it all. Wait, what was it again? Let me write it down for you, hun. Just deliver this note to Clarence. Aye, aye, Gram Gam. Oh my gosh, so many stuff to deliver. And where is this? I got me going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And you you guys live very far. You live so far from everyone. I'm a queen cut. I'm a queen cut. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a queen cut. Being a male scout is not for the weak. I'm just saying. Okay, Clarence is over here. Yes, I believe so. Bro, let's crack a lack in. You ever going to run out of opening lines? Maybe. No promises. What you've been up to? You first. I, as you say, boss, been jamming and pecking, slamming my head into some wood. I really dig wood, like the tree kind. How do you dig wood? Dig as in I like, basically, I love woodpecking, like shaping wood with my beak. Base first. What are we talking about again? A letter. Yes. Ta-da. Here it is. From Annie. You really took the cynic, bro, huh? Egbert likes wood carving? Shh. Yeah, say it louder for the critters at the back. Oops, sorry. But that's wild. He digs wood too? Epic. Oh, Scout, hold on. What? I mean, what? I'm having a power thought. I know just the thing for wood carving. There's an apple tree around here. Then you go! You go! It has the best wood. See if you can grab some sticks from there and bring it back here. Oh, why me? Ooh. How pretty. Oh, you have a nice view over here. Will I make it if I jump? So long, suckers. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Oh my gosh, I made it. Oh my god, what the heck is that? Oh, ew. Oh, you're hideous. Oh, I made it over here. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Whoa, look at the cartoonery board. Cartoonery board. <gasps> Pancakes? <gasps> this is so cool. Oh my god, the bread is bouncing. What's this? Oh, oh bro, my mask. What's happening? No big talky time. Worms, listen. Worms? Sucks run today. Daily run. Thanks for the context. This time, trash everywhere. Yuck! No yuck. Delicious. But now, danger. Worm hide in trash. Listen to Sucks private conversations. Illegal. Cannot allow. Destroy trash. Destroy worm. Comprende? Let me get this straight. There's trash all around. See. And you think there are worms living in the trash spying on you? No. Only socks. All grumbly wood. Public service. Whole forest. Socks need privacy. Socks no many dangerous secret. Cannot rest data leak. Right, right. Of course. Naturally. Buy trash bits. Spring here. Socks dispose. Evidence gone. Happy end. Okay, I'll get you those five pieces of trash then. Leave. Return only with trash. Okay, 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 okay. There are worms spying on you. They're ugly. And they're scary looking. There's one in the trash. There's one behind you. Oh, wine glasses. Who bought these? Oh, Explorer Patch. Woohoo! Yes. Who, bought, who is getting sturdy in here? It's gonna slightly fall over. Yes. Yes. And I made it back up. Woohoo! Whoa, this world is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Hello? Who the heck is that? Who are you? Are you taking a bath? Are you a capriette bot? Whatever that, that, that animal is. Hello? Yes, the capybara. I'm a capybara. Oh, sure looks like it. But that's not all. Oh, I'm a sad capybara. No! What's got you feeling unhappy, Bera? I had. It's gone. I feel incomplete without it. Why does this hat of yours look like? It's brown and orange and smells kind of like citrus. So it's a small orange? No, it's a hat. I had. You sure it's not an orange? Yes, an orange is a fruit and this is a hat. But if it helps you to think of my hat as an orange, then you can consider it an orange. But it's not an orange, it's a hat. Okay. Well, I'll go have a look for an orange-shaped hat. I'll let you know if I find it anything thank you thank you if you need me i'll be here having a nap so like that i can at least wear my hat in my dreams see you later oh you're so cute i'm gonna bounce on your head boing 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 this is beautiful with all the bamboos so many things to look at what's this is that your hat oh so it is an orange oh, okay I, f I found your hat it was literally behind you it's literally behind you are you awake 
Yeah, I am now. What's up? What's up is your hat because it goes on top of your head. Get it because your head... Oh, never mind. Your hat. Ta-da. My hat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll never lose it again. It is an easy hat to lose, I must admit, but with it being so similar to oranges. Nuh-uh. You found my one hat out of the billions of oranges. Obviously, it has distinct hat energy. Sure, we'll chalk it up to that. And not my supreme searching skills. Thanks again, Xena. Whatever I wear my hat, I'll think of you now. The highest honor. See ya, Max. Okay, yours is easy and you're so cute. Uh, who lives up there and what's going on? Well, hello. Wow. Hello. Coming through. Oh, the fog guy. Jim. I've been expecting you. Wow, really? Then you can help me find Greg? Yes. Yes. Wait. No. Not again. Well, I could. I just thought you were here to listen to my enchanting song. Oh, brother. Maybe deliver me a recording contract. Oh, no, I'm really just here for Greg. Greg is my best spear friend, but he always stealing the spotlight. He's a bear? What? You're the first one that's not surprised at the fact that I have a friend. Well, where is he then? Should be easy to remember if he's your best friend. Well, he's just a hop, skip, and jump over yonder. For me, at least. For someone of your stature it's how to put it more complicated is that a short joke rude well no it's just greg lives in a cave in a difficult to reach area you need to do quite some acrobatics to get up there i'm not sure you're a real male scout they have at least like 14 of those male scout patches excuse me gem who are you talking to oh i don't have that many yet i still need four more patches oh well then probably get those first do you know how yeah i can see in my handbook it's lists all patches and what to do to get them coolio go get at least four more patches and come back to me i'll be expecting you you are so weird jim but you have a nice house is this bridge broken oh god yes it is oh i got the goods or should i say woods look at his face <laughs> see i can't tell that's it's funny but somehow i don't feel like laughing oh <laughs> They can't all be zinger pals. That's just how it goes sometimes. I suppose. Well, anyway, here it is. Let's take a good look at this tiny timber. Soft enough to carve, hard enough to hold small details, even wood grain. Yup, this is a top-notch log right here. Really? Yeah. Egbert's gonna dig this unlike anything he's ever dug before. I better bring it to him quick then. Yes, you go bring it. Time to put the pedal to the metal. I have no pedals nor metals. Oh, well, then delivering this would we'll have to do. Good luck, little buddy. <sighs> Oh, thank you so much, bro. Why don't you? You said you were gonna go deliver. I was just hop down because Egbert lives literally down below. <laughs> Egbert, I have something and this better be the last task. Did you get a word from Annie? What did she say? Did she reveal what she wanted? Oh, I hope I wasn't too obvious. Don't you think Annie might appreciate something handmade? A labor of love, if you will. Oh, lordy lord, I hadn't even thought about that yet. I don't know. Will she think I'm lazy if I just buy her something? I think she doesn't mind at all. She's lovely, isn't she? I'm a lucky man. She's stuck with me this long. You know, on my way back, I was taking a stroll through the woods, and I found this beautiful piece of wood. Clarence said it'd be perfect for wood carving. Ha, ah, sure. What would Clarence know about wood carving? They're actually quite the avid word worker themselves. I'll be the judge of that handed over. Soft and supple enough to carve, hard enough to hold small details, and fine even wood grain. It's gorgeous. Clarence really knows their wood, huh? It's too pretty, though. I don't know if my old hands would do any good. Do you think this could make a good anniversary gift? I think you make a wonderful anniversary gift out of it. Just do it, Egbert. Can I go in here? What the heck? What the heck? Wait, what? I just went in the waterfall. Wait. Whoa, this is so cool. How a beautiful. I want to live in here. Wow, guys, look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is gorgeous. Who lives in here? Hello? This is magical. Kaz, is that you? My, my, my. That outfit is ingenious. Such a bold use of color. And that hair color with your hat. Perfect. Oh, thank you. I chose it myself. Well, you must style me one day. The name's Kaz. My name is Sina. Uh, remember, we've never met before. What now? A super secret passcode? Oh, yeah, sure. Hello, fellow super spy. How's work progressing? Irene has sent me with a letter and wants a status report. Oh, Manzua. My dear, it is not progressing in the slightest, I fear. What do I say? That you're done with the work? Oh, no, no. I could never outright lie to the commander oh but you seem to have been quite busy it's all trash trash i tell you nothing worthy nothing perfect perfect why does it have to be perfect 
I... What? It's just a work in progress. A sketch isn't immediately a finished masterpiece. Well, I guess I don't have more than enough sketches. See, that's nothing. I'm pretty sure that's what we in the biz call something. All right, fine. You can show the sketch to Irene. But please assure her the final product surely won't be like... That. Don't worry, I'll be sure to remind her. I shudder at the thought of her judging eyes. Quick, get the shoddy illustration out of my sight this instant. <gasps> Oh, 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 I see why you would be worried. But okay, yes, I will deliver it. But oh my gosh, your crib is nice. Oh my gosh. This is gorge. Guys, this is beautiful. Ooh, another mushroom thing. Whoa. All right, I'm out of here. Got what I needed. Who knew they were in the waterfall this whole time? Jesus. All right, Irene, I spoke to Kaz. Reporting back after my long and arduous journey. Ah, recruit, you made it. How did it go? It took a bit of convincing, but I returned it with a progress report. You managed to get your hands on one of his sketches? A rare sight. You must truly have a way with words. Or some quick fingers. It took some convincing, and he told me to give you a disclaimer. Ah, Mundua. Ah, Mundua. I can't, sorry. I, I don't know how to say that. Ah, Mundua. It is but a sketch and not representative of the final work. Something like that. Felt like I was back in that cave for a second. <laughs> Final work, this masterpiece. That, I don't think I've ever seen those elusive finished pieces he talks about. I knew it was risky working with him, but I wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt. I do kind of wish to see one of those masterpieces after all. It must really be something the way he talks about it. You think so? I hope so. At least I have one reliable confidant. Swamp? No, I meant you. I still don't know what to do with Swamp. It's he's eager to help. I know, I just don't know what to assign him to. One piece of advice. Working with friends is difficult. Maybe that's why Janet's like that. She's just like me so much. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm sure that's what it is. <laughs> Anyways, could you go deliver this to Swamp? Oh my gosh. I should at least keep him updated with our current progress. Hi, boss. I gotta go back to Swamp. Swamp, Swamp, Swampy Swamp. Beep, beep, delivery for Swamp. With an A. That's not you, right? Well, I guess I can't deliver it then. No, no, no. Gimme, gimme. Who is it from? Is it, you know, Intel of the secret variety? Ding, 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 ding. We've got a winner. Irene wanted to give you a progress update. A sketch from Kaz? How'd you get this intimidation? Threaten his shiny trickets with some boom booms? Some guy words never hurt anyone. Is Kaz in need of some cheering? They're in luck. I'm his biggest fan. I don't know the first thing about art. I just know what that his colors always may feel a bit happy inside. They are very pretty. Like looking up at the twinkly stars. Oh, you talk just like them. Like a poem. I don't understand him half the time, but I should visit them again sometime. Yes, go visit! Sadly, I'm not allowed to leave my post. Whatever should I do? You can write and you can deliver mail, correct? You can deliver mail! Wow, you come up with the most creative solutions. Well, could you go deliver to Kaz for- Okay. On a scale from yes to no, how secret is this intel? Huh? Never mind, got a blast! All blasting that I understand, blast away! Oh my gosh. You know, I know I'm a mail delivery scout. But this is a lot of work, if I say so myself. <laughs> it's a lot of running around. All right, back in the cave we go, in this beautiful, beautiful cave that I would love to live in. Look at this. It's magical. It's magical. What? Kaz has it all figured out in here. Mail from Swamp. On Dua, back so soon. Oh, no, no, no. I have not lick of work to show this time. Over my cold feathers will I show another sketch. I get goosebumps from the word. Wouldn't that be crow bumps? Crow? I'm not just a crow, but a raven. Behold my raven black feathers, not mere crow black. I mean, besides, all the painters surely black. Anywho, I come from the swamps. Explains the smell. Unnecessary. Well, you smell like paint. I do? What happened to my light vanilla aroma with a touch of rose and lavender? Long gone. I have a letter from Swamp from the Swamps. He can write? You expect him to draw you a picture? Well, he has before. I still have him hanging on my wall. They're so pure and initiative. I wish I could grasp some of the curiosity. The colors always make me feel a bit happy inside. Oh, man, potential. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I butchered that. I don't know. I don't know how to say that. Sorry. The colors also make me happy inside. Then why not just paint the colors? A masterpiece can come second. I think I would like to try that. Well, it surely ain't a masterpiece, but I don't think it has to be. That's the spirit! You should trot along and show it to Irene before I get doubts. I think in the meantime, I might go paint some more colors. Okie dokie, smell ya later, hey! Oh, uh, Alright, let's go show that to Irene. Hiya! Give it. 
Are you a froggy? You can talk, right? Ribbiting is docking. Oops, I mean ribbit. Who are you? Names are irrelevant. Think of me as he who controls the worms. Oh. Ribbit, do you want to hear a secret? Okay, funny well voice. Tell me your very legitimate, totally real secret. Did you know? Socks and Tenna aren't real. <gasps> it's a replica glued onto their head. Their real one fell off in a skiing accident. That's some niche knowledge. How did you know that? The worms whisper their secrets to me. Ribbit. Ooh. Tell the worms I said hi. Will do. Nice. Okay, well, bye-bye, boys. Ribbit. Oh, they're the ones spying. Ta-da! Shh. What's this? A masterpiece from Kaz? I assume it's up to your standards in that case. It's better than I dared hope. How did you? I think you should promote Swamp to Team Mascot. He really managed to lift some spirits. Oh, I knew those two would get along. I should have let them work together. I was scared Swamp would distract Kaz. Maybe not everyone is as self-reliant as me. No need to be self-reliant. Reliant. Oh my god, I pronounced it wrong. No need to be self-reliant with friends like me. They just want to make this work just as badly as you. Even if they aren't sure how to go about it as you. By the way, all this very nonsense secret intel, what's it all for? You're not reliable if you're unaware. I'm not sure that's how the law works. It's okay, I avoid working with the law. Wait, what? How strict is your relationship with the law? I always take a sip from Janet's drink when she makes me get it for her. <gasps> Sina. Swamp Kaz and I have made a letter for that cat. He's a very greedy cat and we thought we should lighten his pockets a little. Oh, like stealing? Shh. Ooh. Let's say we're taking a sip from his wallet. It's for our survival and he still got the whole cup. And he also made other people get his drink. He didn't make it himself. Oh. So if you could just deliver this letter to Kiki the cat real quick, that'd be grand. On it, boss. Kiki is right over here, so why not? I brought a steal from Kiki or something? Hey, Kiki. Urgent delivery from Mr. Cat. From the bank of, uh, the bank of Grovewood. Rumble. Bank? Give me that. Hmm, ba 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 ba. Pause it, waiting for me. You got a pen for me, kid? I'm a male scout, actually. Whatever, whatever. Got a pen or not? Don't think so. Uh, of course. Let me check to be sure. Behold, a marvel of engineering, a stick of ink. Give me that. Name, banking number. Check. Card expiration date. Uh, check. Mother's maiden name. First pet name? Okay, that should be it. Make sure to get this back to the bank safely. It's an important deposit. A deposit to me is always top priority. Uh, will do. Can I have my pen back? I never specified how long I'd be borrowing it. First rule of business, always read the fine print. But you said it out loud! There wasn't any fine print to read. Well, in that case, finders keepers. And I found this pen in my hand just now. <laughs> Kiki, bro. Kiki's a hoot. Stole it from Janet anyway. Oh, uh, go deliver this back to the bank right away. No, you better. No dilly-dallying on the clock. Make haste. <laughs> yeah, crime prevention, Pat. Oh, we're bad. Oh, we're bad to the bone. This is a fake-ass check. Oh, no. Yep. It's gonna go back to the bank. Got the goods. Whatever crime you're coming to that guy, he deserves worse. Don't worry, we're hitting him where it hurts. Nothing he values more than his big self and his big capital. I think you should just hit him next time. Sina! I'll also be satisfied with a kick. But you got him to sign? Didn't take much convincing. He smelled money and basically stopped listening after that. Now that he's listening before that anyway. I owe you big time. Just so happens I recently came into some wealth. But let me know if you ever need anything. Oh, don't worry. Us male scouts are get adequately compensated in friendship. Oh, I completed the mission! Yay! We should go deliver the good news. Could you please- Oh my gosh. I think I should go talk to Swan- Yes, go. I just want to be- Okay, yeah. Go, go, go. Oh, I gotta go back to Kaz. Thank you for asking, Lone Wolf. <sighs> I'm on a quest. A quest that requires me to go back and forth. Back and forth in this freaking forest. Not that I don't mind. I am a male woman after all. But it is a lot of back and forth going around here. My biggest worry is how to capture or obtain that battery that's floating up in the in the tree branch. First, I need to deliver this mail to Kaz. Hopefully this is the last mission between Kaz and Irene and Swamp. Kaz, I got some mail for you. Hello again, Kaz. Ah, but sure, petit scout de mer. Ay, kawal, what did you make that? Hey, I did. It's wonderful, Kaz. It smells like paint and touch of vanilla and rose and a hint of lavender. Oh, you... Yes, nothing to smell here but colors, my friend. A veritable universe of hues. I eat, sleep, breathe paint. 
Hey, buddy, take a few deep breaths. Wait, no, don't. I mean, maybe just put the paint tubes down for a second. I have a letter and some news. Irene called your work a masterpiece and Kiki ate it up. Your masterpiece is signed and on its way to be cashed in. Well, not signed by you, sadly, but that's probably better. That'd be like signing your name under, well, something illegal. I don't care, it's not signed by me. I've experienced ego death, my friend. Any no more of possessions or steam. I must simply create. Is it okay if I do a big spring cleaning in here then? No! Don't touch my sheenies! Exactly. I think what you need is a nap. Maybe some water, not paint water. Mandur, a nap does actually sound very nice. Go count some sheep. No more worrying about work. That creating can also wait till tomorrow. You'll still be you, pure initiative and wanders. And then also with a clear mind. Oh, Mandua, the monologue worked wonders. Also bored me to sleep. Oh, wow. Can't believe you insult me like that, stinky crow. <laughs> oh, one last thing before you can get ready for your nap. Did you happen to know someone by the name of Greg? Greg? As in Gregworth? Greg Burt? Red Monthly? Oh, I'm afraid I can't be of too much help with that. I have heard of Greg, but I can't recall seeing him around. Maybe one of the other residents here knows. All right. Well, thank you anyways, Kaz. Love you, Kaz. Okay, Kaz? Kaz is holding me hell hostage. I'm literally stuck. All right, we still have to find this ham character. And I have yet to see them. Let's go figure that out right now. The pieces of pie. Oh, I could bounce on the pie. Yay! Oh, hello! Wow, I didn't see you there. You match- you- you blend in with the freaking picnic table. You must be Ham. Ham I am. My name is Ham, and I like jam. I also like working out, reading, and long jogs on the beach. But those don't rhyme with my name. What a shame. Doesn't rhyme with his name. Who is to blame that his love did not rhyme with his name? Such pain. And also lame. Okay, Shakespeare, screen it in. I'm here on a love quest. Oh, eh, sorry, I don't really do romance myself. But you seem like a fun person. I'm sure you'll find somebody good soon. It's not for me. <laughs> Read this. It's the hot goss straight from the source. I understand this right. Haley wants a spoon from me. At this point, any intel regarding the love spoon is appreciated. If you happen to have one, that's all the better. Of the utmost importance. Essential to my happiness. Stop reading already and give the scout some spoon info already. Hey, be nice, letter. Even extremely buff hamsters have feelings too, you know. I think Haley's just a bit nervous. Well, I'm not too sure about what the whole love spoon thing is, but I do know about love. I thought you said you didn't do romance. Not firsthand, of course. I'm not trying to get cooties. But in the books I read, love is all about the dramatics, making a grand gesture like running through the rain to your beloved, holding up a boombox. I don't know, something like that. I mean, I could give you a spoon, I guess. I have two. My lovely, amazing, humongous spoon for efficient eating. And a small spoon. I need to eat lots fast so I can't give you the big one even though it is better. You can't do anything serious eating with a small spoon. It just doesn't fit nearly enough food. Anyways, it's okay. Haley says a love spoon is not normal anyways. But thanks for the offer. Oh, actually, why don't you ask Toph about the love spoons? Why, Toph? He's expecting me to find another mushroom species for him or a mushroom sample. And I don't have that mushroom sample, dang it. Toph and Donna are good friends. Maybe they heard her say something about it. Who knows? Oh, good idea. I gotta go all the way back to Toph. Uh, Lucky Toph, I think, is like over here. Yes, over there. Lovely. Toph, I'm on the way. I'm on the way. Slowly but surely, I'm coming. I have a mail or letter for you, I, but I don't have another sample of that mushroom you had asked for. Hello. I came here with a purpose. Oh, do it tell. I'm on a quest. A love quest. Sorry, Scout, you're too young for me. <laughs> it's not for me. It's for somebody else. Simmer down, Tobe. I'm way too good looking for you. You're friends with Donna, right? Correct. Mundo, we're both roaming collectors of sorts. Well, I'm trying to help out Donna's secret admirer. Haley heard something about a love spoon that Donna is interested in. Do you happen to know anything about that? Yes, I know about it. Okay, great. Could you write down some info about it for Haley? Nope, I don't have arms. Tove, is this why you've been making me collect all these mushroom samples for you? Because you don't have arms? Maybe you should find a different hobby then. You can write it down on my behalf. You got a pen? What kind of mail scout would I be if I didn't have one? No, 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 we don't have a pen because Kiki took it from us. Hey, I already believe your cover story. But I'm really a scout. And that's exactly what I believe. 
A love spoon is a miraculous thing to scoop your stew as starlings sink and to taste each scoop with love anew from the spoon your love once gave to you. That's it. Well, I'm sure this will make sense at some point. We could just also ask Donna what she wants. I suppose so. I'll just have to be very sneaky not to reveal anything. Now, I gotta go back to Donna who's all the way over there. Donna, I'm coming for you. I don't know why they can't just tell you up front that they like you. Why can't you just tell Donna yourself that you like her? This is too much work. Yeet. Donna, I'm on the way. Donna, 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 where are you? Donna? Oh, there you are, Donna. Hey, Donna. Donna, I have something. I have to ask you something. What can I do with you for today? Hello, Donna. I have a suspicious question. Oh, lordy. I'm not interested in illegal entanglements currently. Sorry. Maybe someone else can help? No, it's not anything strange, but you're the only one who can help. Um, per chance, ask it for a friend. Sure, sure. If someone were to give you a gift in order to woo you, I mean, if someone were to ask you out with a gift, what would be... Scout, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to stop you right there. Oh, the thing is, I I really don't want to have to say this to you, but sorry, I'm just not romantically interested in you. It's not... For me, for the last time, I'm way too good looking for each and every one of you in this freaking forest, okay? So don't think it's me. I'm not interested in none of you either. It's for <gasps> Cena. Oh my god, we act. Oops. Oh, oops. Oh, 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 big oops. Hmm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say. It's okay, I'm glad to know she's finally making a move. You like her back? <gasps> Of course! Haley is the sweetest little thing I ever did meet. It's clear we both like each other, but lordy lord, we've been going at a snail's place. Huh. So she wanted to know what gift I would like, huh? Yeah, the plan was to get you a love spoon. Oh lordy. I brought up the love spoon because I'm going to give her one. Scout, may I please ask you for your services? <gasps> what now? Would you deliver this love spoon to Haley? <gasps> Nothing would make me happier. Fantastic. No need to check in with me after you've delivered. Oh, thank God. From here on, we can manage it on our... Oh, thank gosh. You're a good one, Zena. Thanks for helping. Oh, what the frick is that? A freaking spoon made out of mud? Now we gotta go back to Haley. Hopefully, just hopefully, that'll be the last trip with these two that I have to do. Haley. Haley, I got a spoon for ya. Haley. Here you go. Please let this be the last mission for you two. If it isn't Cena, I was worried you left me to so struggle with this all alone. What took you so long? What took me so What took me so long? Don't ask silly questions. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. I have two things for you. The first one is your official advice letter, co-authored by Ham and Tove. Oh, let me have a look. Boombox serenade running through the rain. Taste each scoop of love. When the knick-knack patty whack is this all supposed to be? <laughs> <laughs> Neither of them really helped me figure out how to get a love spoon for Donna. Oh, what a mess I'm in now. Have you forgotten something? What? Oh yeah, you have another thing Lay on me. Here it is, your very own love spoon. You found a love spoon? Amazing! Where did you get this? You might want to sit down for this one. No, I was born to stand. <laughs> Lay it on me, Scouty. Donna gave it to me to give to you. She... she likes me back? Without a doubt, she said so herself. Oh heavens, what a lucky goose I am today. Thank you for bringing me this wonderful news to me. No problem. But if you want to thank anybody, you should thank whoever sent me your way. Great idea. Can you please give this note to whoever sent the first letter? It would be my pleasure. I don't... Wait, who was that? Wait, I don't... What? I don't remember. Oh, fucking Annie. Fucking Annie. Fucking Annie. She's awfully over here. Oh, I should go to... Annie! Annie! I have a, I think a gift or something. Who's a male scout, I see? Could it be Cupid themselves? You're one to talk, Gram Gram. None of this would have happened without your meddling. Ah, uh, well, I can't stand by and watch young love flounder. I met Egbert when I went looking for the nut that buried a nut on my property. And look at us now. So no matter if it starts with something small or a grand gesture, now that those two have made the first step, it'll figure itself out. If I didn't know you better, I'd say you're pretty wise, Gram Gram. I'm plenty wise, you little rapscallion. Well, since you're so wise, did you know where Greg is? Greg? Sorry, hon, it's not ringing too many bells. 
I know most people in the valley, but I don't think I've heard about him. Aw, oh, shame. Thought you might know. Oh well. You've got some smarts, though. I'm sure you'll find him soon. A good job today again, love doctor. Oh, I did it! Yes! Yes! I freaking got the battery, finally! Oh, an apple! Litterbug patch! Wow! You know that trash? I do. Here you go. Finally. You know, useful. <laughs> Thanks! It was a good idea to clean up the trash. The forest looks a lot nicer now, don't you think? An app. So, uh, what are you gonna do with the trash? First check for worm traces. After. Distract. Maybe swamp. Help. Rat owes me. But earlier, it sounded like you liked eating trash. Yes. Trash good flavor. Not good for socks long term. Especially not worm trash. Give socks stupid worm brain. <laughs> Why laugh? Socks never less than deathly serious. When trash gone, hunt new trash. Worm boss? Socks know he nearby. Socks smell him. Who's the worm boss? We met the worm boss in the well. Better if Cena not get involved. Socks have only one thing to say to Cena. Despite annoying- Oh! Dang! Cena, big help. But, 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 thanks. Thanks. Th thanks. Thanks. Now never speak of this again. Of course, my lips are sealed, but Socks. Just say, being on that big in brain department. <laughs> Whatever, socks. You're literally eating trash. Worm infested trash. Also, a little birdie told me, or a little worm, or a little worm boss told me that your antenna are fake. You've been gluing these fake ones on because you had a ski accident, huh? I'm Cena Leap. God dang! Bye! Yo, do we have a problem, sucker? You look like a freaking Lego. You know, I've been delivering a mail all day and I'll take it out on you. What's good with you? You want to step up to me, huh? You really want to step up to me, huh? And bounce on your head. And that's how you assert dominance, ladies and gentlemen. Ina, please tell me you have blueberry cheese. Here you go, ham. They are a bit trash flavored. Sorry about that. Anything is better than this. I'm healed. Blueberry cheese with garbage sauce has saved me. This is literally the best food ever. Are you sure you're not delirious from stomach ache or something? I feel all better. The blueberry is really good. And it gets even better with cheese. Glitter cheese is the best of all, but the garbage sauce is transcendent. It's just chef's kiss. This is the best food there is for sure. I shouldn't have seen it coming. I feel better than ever. Sure. Well, healthy ham, riddle me this. Do you know where Greg is? Ah, that's easy. Greg doesn't show face too much. The rumor is he lives up on the ridge and he keeps out of the valley. But I don't know, maybe he got sick of the rest of us. Either way, he still hangs with Jim. Jim is one of a kind, you could say. Still elusive, but less so than Greg. Jim tends to stick to the pond above the waterfall. He should be able to point you towards Greg. Thanks, Ham. I'll go check it out. Hi, Cena. Thanks for the food. Jim better not mess around with me and give me a straight and a direct answer because last time he was playing around too much. So, Jim, you better point me to the right direction and my shift will be over. Still chilling with your orange hat, I see. Jim, the man. Oh, why was I twitching like that? Jim, Jim, I've got all the patches I need. Wonderful. Then you finish everything you've wanted to. After getting to Greg's place, you're probably leaving immediately. Mail scout protocol and all. Oh yeah, I'll be sure to finish my deliveries then. When you're ready, just glide up with the air from the hot spring on my house. I've just opened it up so you should be able to glide across now. Oh, easy peasy. And then just find your way through the overgrown bush. You're going the right way as long as you're going generally up. You'll see Greg's cave. It's pretty big. Thank you, Jim. You're actually quite useful. Alright, you sat on the top of your house? Perfect. Ooh! Whee! Look at all the bones! What is this dude eating? I hope he's not eating the homies. <gasps> oh my god! Hello? Mr. Greg? I have a letter for you. It's kind of important. Wake up! Do you think he's dead, B? Bzzz. Maybe we should poke him with a stick to check. Bzzz. Okay, okay, I won't poke the bear. What? You think he's gone into hibernation? What's that? Bzzz. Oh, like a super nap? That's okay. I'll, we'll just wait for him to wake up. Bzzz, bzzz, bzzz. What? Bzzz, bzzz, bzzz. Well, for how long? Bzzz, bzzz, bzzz. Until spring? But then I can't deliver the letter today. Bzzz. I leave it here? Absolutely not. Someone else might take it. It's not the mail scout way. Bzzz. I don't want to go ask Janet for help. Fine, I'll do it. Jan is probably still at the van. Why can't I just freaking bounce on his head? It's just, he's so cute and big. It's this guy's... What the frick was that? Okay, I'm scared. Okay, I'm leaving. What? 
Janet's not here. Didn't see new in town. Moving. Bzz. What's that, B? Bzz, bzz, bzz. But you can smell where Janet went? I didn't know bees could smell. Bzz. A hundred times better than I can. Wow. All right. Sniff the way, Detective B. Oh, surprise! What's going on? But what? Why is everyone here? What? Congrats on your first completed assignment. Oh, um... That's so nice of you all, but I'm um, so sorry to disappoint. <laughs> Look at everyone's faces. I didn't deliver the letter to Greg. I'm so sorry. No one's gonna say anything. But I have a word, Cena. I'm so sorry, Janet. Please don't be mad at me. I'm not mad at you. Why not? I failed. I can't come back from something like this. All of the scouts will think I'm a fraud. Sometimes we're just kind of meant to fail and learn from it, you know? No, I don't know. I needed this delivery to go well. Hi, what about all the letters you've delivered by now? Don't think I wasn't keeping an eye on you. Because it was my assignment, damn it. I've got to complete my first assignment perfectly. What will happen if you fail? Oh. What would happen if you fail? I don't know. Everyone will be disappointed in me and think I'm not a real male scout. It'll ruin me. Does that mean I'm not a real male scout either? Have you ever failed an assignment? Yeah, many times. One time, I read the address wrong and ended up at the North Pole. Janet, what the heck? Ah, sometimes you mess up. Or sometimes something just can't be done the way you wish it would be. It's totally fine to fail. It just happens occasionally and we learn from it. Thanks, Janet. That makes me feel better. No worries, Zena. Now, how about you go enjoy this party everyone put together for you? Come talk to me again when you're ready to skedaddle. Okay, Mrs. Boss. Oh, hey, hey. Okay, Shelby, I didn't know you had moves like that, sister. Okay. Oh, Jim. Jim with the knees. They're actually, <gasps> they're together. Look at them together. Get Jiggy with it, Donna. Get Jiggy. <laughs> Look at Haley. She's so happy. Hi, everyone. Hey, 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 hey. Blueberry and cheese. This is amazing. Thank you guys for throwing out the party for me. I'm ready to go now. Sure thing, you feeling better? Yes. You know, thanks for listening to me. Not a problem, kid. We all need a little support sometimes. I'm still um, scared to tell. I'm still a little scared to tell Mail Scout HQ. But I'll be okay. Yes, you'll be fine. I know deliveries don't always go as planned. We can just come back when Greg's out of hibernation and try again. And then I'll be more prepared. You did 48 deliveries today from what I hear. God dang. It wasn't always easy, but I'm so happy I was able to help everyone today. Sadly, because of the Greg business, the higher-ups won't be able to give you your official Mail Scout patch yet. What? Don't worry, you get. <gasps> Congrats! You've earned the unofficial Mail Scout patch. Woo! I'll take it. I got you one right here. Ah, Janet! You stole from work. I'm calling the CEO Mail right now. No, 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 no. I made you one because you're a true Mail Scout to me. Why would you snitch on Janet? Stop. See, now are you going to say anything? Janet, you're the best mom a boss could wish for. No, wait. The best boss a scout could mom for. What? No. You know what? Doesn't matter. I don't have to be perfect. Thank you, Mom Boss Janet. You are not my kid. Uh, you know what? Never mind. Let it. Well, Scout, say what you need to say. I'm an unofficial male Scout, baby! <laughs> yeah! Oh my gosh. That was so stinking cute, guys. I love that. That was male Scout, guys. A full game all right everyone that was mail time i hope you enjoyed this video because i know i did i guess we can call this video like a 1000 subscriber special and i'm sorry if this video was a little too long but those of you who made it towards the end thank you so much you are all so appreciated and thank you again for a thousand subscribers you guys made a girl so freaking happy but yeah, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye!